Oh, it's pretty exciting to play in the postseason to extend your season uh, one more game. Um, I think it means a lot to the senior class uh, to come out here and get another another opportunity to get another win. Uh, it take a lot of effort, um, a lot of practice this week this week to, pre to prepare the right preparedness. I think that's the right word to prepare the right <laughs> way. Um, uh, just come out here and have a lot of fun. And, uh, just see what happens, really. Yeah, I feel comfortable just because the offense and the guys that we have around on, on the team. and um, Defensively, they do a lot of different stuff. Um, they'll change it up on you a lot, and they'll, they'll keep you on your toes. But um, I think offensively, the last part of the season, we, we've been playing pretty well, and hopefully we can continue that. So. Oh, me a lot. Um, I'm looking forward to get a win, so then hopefully we can get a ring because – the only other thing I have to show for postseason is like a NCAA like medallion thing, but I mean, which is cool. I mean, that means something that we made to the postseason. Yeah. You know, you have something to show for it, but uh, a ring or something would be cool too. So. Um, I think it means a lot to the program. You know, to where we are now. Um, we expect to play in, in like late November, early December. Um, uh, I just like where the programs come and where we're at, and I hopefully we can continue that and just go on an uphill climb from there. Uh, I think it means a lot to, you know, we didn't end our season on, like, with UCO, that wasn't our last game, um, to be able to come out here. And um, I've really had fun. I've had a lot more fun at practices this past couple of weeks. The younger guys are getting a lot more reps, and uh, you just kind of get to sit back and, like, enjoy the things and, like, realize – how far you've come these past five years, especially with the people that have been here the same time you've been here. And to, I don't know, just build upon that and what we've been able to do is pretty important. Um, I'm glad Saturday we get another chance to go out there and play together again. I think, honestly, I just want to go out there uh, and just have fun, have as much fun as you possibly can because uh, I'll be prepared. There's no doubt. No doubt about that, but just going out there and just letting it fly and having as much fun as we can because I think that's that's what's important about football and that's why we play it. Um, you know, I honestly said that just kind of like jokingly okay. because, um, but yeah, I've broke some records. I think I'm pretty close to the touchdown one. I have no idea. My actually, my friend he told me that the other day, <laughs> but uh, Brent he's still got a lot more records, probably a lot more than I do, and. Um, I don't know, it's just kind of cool to see like where your career went and what you were able to do, but once you're done, it really don't mean a whole lot. Yeah, I never would have expected it um, growing up here in Emporia, and then to come here and coach again give me the chance to play college football and um, to see the things that, um, it's kind of selfish, but the things that I've been able to do from high school and then carrying it on to college and to all do it at, in Emporia, um, I think that means a lot. and. Um, that's something that Emporia is always going to be somewhere that's special to me. And it's awesome to be able to do that. Um, Honestly, I don't think we've treated it any differently. I don't, if anything, we're a little bit more laid back. Um, just enjoying the opportunity to be able to play another game. Um, but when we lose a draw, we know the season's out, done after that. So we're just going to try to make the best of it and um, have a smile on our face when we're doing it. You know, you win or go home, and um, so that we were. Um, a lot. I'm, I'm not going to say we're taking this any light, like any less serious, but uh, win, lose, or draw, we're we're done after this. So uh, it means a lot. Uh, I think you know, especially for the senior class, it's a fun way to go out, uh, kind of on top. You know, we wish we were playing in the playoffs. Um, we wish we were you know getting to compete for the championship. But um, from where we've been this year and some of the adversity we fought through, I think you know we're we're extremely blessed and happy to be here, and we're ready to go out on top with a win. I think it's we have a lot of momentum, like you said, uh, going in, and uh, especially offensively, we've kind of we've kind of found our groove, hitting on all cylinders the last couple of games, and um, we're excited to go out and finish on top. Uh, we got a great great group of seniors that are um, that have done a good job leading this team all year, and um, we're just ready to, to finish on top. Absolutely, we've you know, like you said, there's a lot of us that have been here for you know four to five years, and. Um, you know, you get to know somebody pretty well, spending as much time as we do together, and um, it's become, you know, a really close family. And um, I wouldn't pick any other guys to to end my career with. And uh, we're excited to go out on on top together. And um, it's going to be bittersweet, I think. You know, being like you said, the last game we play together. But uh, we're going to, you know, put everything we have, lay all our chips on the line, and and go out on top. Oh yeah, uh, there's a lot of I think a lot of excitement. It's it's another trip that a lot of the Friends and family from back home will have the opportunity to come to and 
be in a, instead of coming north where it's extremely cold, you get to go south where it, man, hopefully a little better weather. So, um, yeah, like you said, it's, it's exciting because there's a lot of us from Oklahoma that will have family that will get to come to the game. And I know um, even the people from Texas that have a lot of family down there have the opportunity to come that, that may not get to come to games often. So it's exciting to get, to get in front of our, our friends and family. Uh, blessed to put it in one word. I, I'm, I wouldn't have picked any, anywhere else to play, obviously, and um, wouldn't have picked any other guys to play with. You know, this is uh, it's a special place, and it'll always hold a special place for me. Um, and um, yeah, just looking forward to to one more game and and going out on top. Yeah, it means a lot. Um, like I said, you know, we you know we wish we would be in the playoffs, you know, fighting for the championship. But at the same time. Um, We've we've been through a lot, you know, coming from last year and some this year. We've been through a lot of tough losses, and and uh, I think that that says a lot about our program and what we have here and the culture we have here. As far as you know, always always staying on the grind and uh, making sure we're, we're improving every single day. And um, it it means a lot to be able to to bounce back from last year, where you know we maybe didn't deserve a ball game. You know, you know whether we thought we we should have got one or not. I think when it comes down to it, we we may not have earned it. So. Um, to really put our mark this year and really have earned a game and uh, earned the opportunity to go and play one more is, is special. Yeah. <laughs> that's, how, that's how we roll around here. Yeah. <laughs> field still a little, got a little snow on the field still. It's not melting. So some of us guys took it upon ourselves to go out there and, and get some of the field cleared off so we can continue to practice and continue to get better today. Yeah, that would have been rough for sure. Uh, we went out yesterday and did did kind of a jog through, to just kind of a more of a mental day. and. It was still pretty rough, even though it wasn't snowing. So I can't imagine what the blizzard conditions would have been like. It would be cool, but like, it would be very tough. I had a couple games in high school where we played in in some pretty rough conditions, and and those are fun. Those are the ones you remember. But at the same time, it's we like clean fields and uh, clean atmosphere. Braxton's he's one of a kind, that's for sure, and uh, he's a guy that I've become really close with over the years, and um, I can't. I can't picture anyone else, you know, getting the honors that he has. He's done an amazing job here. Um, he works hard. You know, sometimes his attitude, you know, he's got a laid-back mentality sometimes, but he really cares about the program. He cares about this game and his teammates, and he always puts that first. And um, to see him get those honors and the awards is, is something special, and it's something I know he'll he'll remember and cherish forever, as well as I think all of us that have played with and have had the opportunity to be a part of with him is something special too. I think one that was that was very special was winning our first playoff game here at Welch Stadium. I think that was that was really fun, really really cool to be a part of, and really exciting. And um, there's like you said, there's there's too many to count, but I'm just extremely blessed and happy that I was able to be a part of our run here. Uh, it's really cool. I mean, my redshirt year, we made a long run, and that was really awesome to be a part of. And last year we we didn't get to do that, so it was really that was kind of our goal this year is to get back in the postseason. And like I said last week, just. For action on Thanksgiving or around Thanksgiving break, there's really nothing like it, so it means a lot. Man, this senior class, I mean, I don't I've I I have only been here for three years, but I don't I don't know if there's any senior class that's like this. I mean they have so much talent, but it's not really the talent that makes them great. It's the it's just the kind of people they are, like just out there, just I mean, I know a lot of you guys think about Braxton, but Braxton he's the leading whatever, all these records that he's out there messing around right now, I bet you that, and he's he's just always messing around and he's the he just brings a lot of life to this team. Same with, I mean, Land and JB. I mean, they're great players, but it, they just, it's just better people, and that's what it meant. It's meant a lot. I mean, they're a really good team. I mean, they, they've won five out of their last six, I think, kind of like we have. They're hot. I mean, they, they beat Southern Arkansas. They kicked the team out of the playoffs. So, I mean, they're a lot like us, like Coach Higgins has kind of told us. They're a lot like we were kind of when we were getting this program started back in 12, 2012. So, I mean, we're, we're looking to... They're going to be a really tough test, and we're just seeing how we how the MIAA faces up with a GAC, and it'll be really interesting to see how that how that plays out. Oh yeah, I mean this team runs a lot of a lot of the two back twins open stuff that everyone runs, like the split zone, like kind of like our offense runs. So yeah, it's we haven't really had to do much different installs or anything like that. We've kind of just been playing our base stuff, which is which is really nice, so we can play fast and just not really have to think much. Kind of like you said, like in fall camp, we're kind of just going back to a lot of that stuff and just just like we're playing our offense. And I don't know how much. I don't think that goes much up tempo as our offense does, so that'll be nice to get a little rest. But I mean, kind of ever since we were lost in Northwest, we kind of realized like we're two and three. Like if we want to give these seniors what what they deserve, we have to turn something around, and that's kind of was our motivation from that from that moment on. And against UCO, that was our sole motivation was 
if we, if we lost, we probably knew we wouldn't get a bowl game, and if we won, we knew we had a good shot at it. So that was kind of our motivation, like give these seniors one last, one last hurrah. And I, I'm going to really enjoy, but kind of after it's going to be sad, but I'm going to really enjoy every second I have until then with them. I mean, nothing changes. Our, our mentality is always to just play fast and play physical and then create turnovers, create chaos. That's what our – I mean, when we've won games, we've created turnovers, and when we create turnovers, our offense gets some momentum, and they score quick, and then – the, the team kind of gets overwhelmed with how, how fast things happen because we get turnovers and our offense scores in two plays, then it happens again. and like So that's just kind of our mentality is to get turnovers and play fast. Oh, it's huge. I mean, like last year was kind of like my first year playing, so I wasn't 100% sure like what everything meant. But this year it's like making that game, it's, it's huge because just because for the seniors, like we've already talked about, like just giving those seniors one last game to – to remember forever like this is their last football game ever for a lot of them for most of them so just giving them that chance to go down to Texas play a team we've never played before is a really great opportunity. I mean this is my first postseason playing so I mean I just want to go down there and I mean I mean enjoy it I'm, I'm not I'm going to try and enjoy it to the best of my ability and then learn something I don't know what, what it's going to be like I have no idea so I mean once we get down there I'll, I'll review it and then see what we can learn from it. Well I think they're excited about getting into game week I mean uh one thing after our last game of the year, you know, we still had three weeks before or two weeks before you really actually get into game week. So two weeks there, we had to kind of uh, divide our practices up uh, in, you know, it's always, but our guys worked really hard. I mean, sometimes it's difficult to get guys to get ready when they know it's not game week. And, and uh, but we have a good group, good senior class that even in those early practices, I thought our guys did a really good job. But I know we're really excited to truly get back into uh, game week this week. Well, we want to play. Uh, you know, th thing about it is, you always uh, uh, worry about uh, you know knocking the rust off a little bit. Just uh, from, especially offensively, just uh, you know being in rhythm and and with your timing and all that stuff. And I, I think that that's one of the things that concerns me a little bit. Um, and then just making sure that our mindset is ready to play, which I, I know that our guys will be, um, because we get an extra opportunity, especially our seniors get an extra opportunity to go. Uh, play another game uh, with their teammates, and we know we're playing a, a team that is uh, playing really well right now. Uh, they're playing uh, with a lot of confidence. One similar to us, you know, won five out of their last six games, and you know their last two games, uh, especially their last one was a big rivalry game, and they ended up winning that. And actually, uh, the team that they beat, Southern Arkansas, they were all the thing they had to do is win and, and go to the playoffs, and Monticello stopped them from doing that. So. Um, they remind me of ourselves a little bit in that they're very opportunistic and, you know, they, they get turnovers, they make things happen, and, and um, they're playing really well. So, you know, for us, again, we just got to make sure that we're, we're ready to play and, and uh, our preparation, I think, is, has been good up to this point. And besides battling a little bit of the elements, but, but we'll, we'll get it done. You know, I think just, again, going back to just uh, uh, timing and, and receivers and quarterbacks because we would – you know, we would have a two or three day practices in a row and then we'd give them off for two or three days and then they got Thanksgiving off and, and so they were off you know Thursday Friday Saturday we brought them back Sunday but we had bad weather we had to do a jog through yesterday so we really just as far as from a speed standpoint we've missed about five or six days of that so so to me just concentrating on getting back into game speed mode and and we'll do some things against each other you know good on good uh, today and tomorrow just to kind of get hopefully knock some of that rust off if we have any nice. hey that's we like it like that <laughs> you know everybody so I don't think we'll have any problems adjusting to that I figure if you're gonna if you can adjust to the cold and adjust to the snow that's out there on the field then we go down and it's a balmy 70 degrees we'll we'll be just fine yeah it's uh it's huge and uh, we always talk about around here that we earn everything that we get and last year we didn't earn uh, the opportunity to go to a bowl game. You know, we finished six and five along with uh, Washburn, and you know they they chose Washburn. You know, a team uh, whoever controls the bowls, they can choose whoever they want. So it was out of our hands. But if you do win enough games and, and uh, you have success, then you're going to have that true opportunity to to get an invite. And you know, us winning our last game, finishing seven and four, uh, winning five out of our last six. Uh, we kind of earned that right, and our seniors had a lot to do with that. With that being said, that's one of the reasons it's special to be going and playing a, another game with this group because this is a solid group. They've been together a long time, been through a lot, won a lot of games, been the playoffs together, and 
Um, you know, that's that's why I, I'm, I'm not worried about us being ready to play and having to make some of these adjustments uh, with practice and our schedule because they they're a good group and they've shown great leadership and you know they'll pull everybody through it. So uh, I'm just proud that you know I've been able to th this group that they stuck together and they've been here and, and proud to have the opportunity to coach them one more game too. Well, I, it's it's good. You know, I get spend. I know he's excited about spending some extra time with me uh, because. Uh, <laughs> I, I actually deal with him on an everyday basis since I'm his coach, but uh, no, it's uh, uh, it, it'll be it'll be special, you know. I mean, that's one thing, and I think all our coaches are like this that they they feel strongly about their players and about their position, and and really want to develop that relationship with them off the field. And um, you know, we've had you know, me and Braxton, we've definitely had our ups and downs. Uh, and that's kind of what you go through when you're when you're in a family a little bit. You have your arguments, but uh, for us to be able to to prepare uh, for another game one more time, uh, for him to go out there on the field because he's done so much uh, uh, in his career, not only for our program, but but he's also uh, played really well uh, himself. He's broke broken records here, and and uh, and all that stuff. I know deep down he won't admit it, but I know it's important to him. But at the end of the day. You know, us going and getting this win, this last game that he has that opportunity uh, to go out with this group uh, is going to mean more to him uh, than any statistics that he's or any records that he's broken. And I felt that just our last home game here, his senior year. You know, you got to you got to remember, he's he's played you know fr a freshman game out there when he was in high school to uh, his three years in high school playing out here on this same field. I mean. He, before we played Missouri Southern that last game, I mean, you could see it in his eyes. I mean, he was, it was an emotional day for him because it was going to be the last time that he was going to suit up and import his state gear and go out there on that field uh, for the last time. So um, for us to be able to prepare again for another opponent and prepare for really an opponent that's out of the conference, I think that's kind of fun too. You know, I mean, we, we beat up, uh, up on each other so much in this league that to be able to step outside of it and – uh, prepare for another team is is something that I definitely look forward to. I know he does too as well. So uh, it'll be an exciting day, and hopefully we do what we need to do out there on the field and come out with a victory.